is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have an epic wwe elite figure review and this time it is the phenomenal one the elite 56 aj styles figure which looks incredible before i even take it out of the packaging i can honestly say i think this is the best aj styles that mattel has ever made hands down um i know a lot of people are complaining about the head scan but in my opinion man i gotta say i think this is the best aj head scan we've gotten so far this may be one of the may be one of the better head scans we've ever had ever um you know they lengthened the hair i think they got that likeness just right we will take a closer look of course and compare it to other aj figures but to me it really doesn't look like macho man like a, a lot of other people are saying i think it looks literally just like aj styles and i would if they would just change the body mold this figure would literally be perfect you know besides knee pads and an open elbow pad i think they really really do a good job on the elite aj styles figures but this one has got to take the cake. I know the WrestleMania Network Spotlight is really awesome, but this one is is just a little bit better to me before I even take it out of the package. But let's go ahead and look at this packaging before we crack it out of the box. You have the viewing window right here of AJ Styles. You see we get his vest with the option to have it down or open. Um, you have these new Elite Collection logo right here. Got the series number here. Flipping it around, you have AJ Styles right there. Freaking beautiful man with his mom haircut. On the back, we have beautiful shot of AJ again. Look at his torso. This torso is big. This torso is way bigger than this. Come on, Mattel. Come on, look at that. No. Anyways, you get some info about AJ here, name here, some info right there. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it now. Um, we have more of the figures in the way. This is a really good set. All current guys, which is one of the first times I've ever done that, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. But now that we have taken a look at the packaging, guys, let's go ahead and crack AJ out of his packaging and holy but jesus guys here we have aj styles out of his packaging with his accessories right here and taking a first look at this figure um i think i was correct this is definitely the best aj styles we have gotten so far um i want to take a closer look at his accessories before we take a closer look at aj himself so that's what we'll do first here's a little 360 preview of the figure this blue is absolutely fantastic i love the way this attire looks i think um, it is awesome that we are finally getting a blue attire, AJ Styles. But now, let's take a closer look at his accessories. Alright guys, so here is AJ's accessories, if you're not including his elbow pad, which really isn't an accessory. But here we have the main accessory. It is his entrance vest right here. And on the front, you see it is this vest style. And it's not very hard. It's very pleather-like, like it's real formidable. So it doesn't hinder the articulation, which is fantastic. Um, I think they got this right. Um, I think it is accurate to his actual vest that he wears in real life. It looks like real leather with the black molding. Um, they did add the silver details right here, the little buckles on the front right there. It's very nice. It's like a uh, gunmetal silver sort of color, and it looks really, really nice. I love the way that turned out. We have it on the back as well, going down the back. You even have the seam stitched into the jacket, and all of these little uh, metal, whatever you want to call them, the little circles on there. The studs, I guess you could call it, look really nice. They go in a circle pattern around the P1 logo, and I think this decal is really beautiful. I think it is perfect exactly how it looks in real life. And on the front here, you will notice these two little holes right here, and that is for the hoods right here to plug in. So you have two different options. You can have the hood up with the little things in there or the hood down, and they just plug right in there. And I'm not going to go through the... Uh, the process on putting those on because it's really difficult and I do not want to um, even try it. I was going to do it for the last segment of the video, but it literally, it was so difficult I just said screw it. Um, to me, it's not even worth it. I don't think the hood even matters. I think it looks good regardless of the hood or not. So now that we have covered his accessories, guys, let's look at the AJ Style figure himself. Alright guys, taking a closer look at AJ Styles himself, here we have the new head scan, and I think it looks just like AJ Styles. Um, I guess I can kind of see what people say, it kind of looks like Macho, but to me, it really looks like AJ Styles. So I guess if AJ Styles looks just like Macho Man, then I guess it is, but this head scan is beautiful. I think they completely nailed it. Um, they gave us longer hair, which is more accurate. You know, you could take this head scan and swap it onto the WrestleMania, and it would look a lot better as well. Um, I may do that. Um, in the future, 
But yeah, that head scan is absolutely great. You know, here's the torso choice that they always give us, and I hate that they give us this. A lot of people don't mind it, but I am one that am, is, I'm not a fan of this torso choice. I think that he is much bigger than this. Um, I think that his, his chest is a lot like mine. It's real broad, and he has like a wider, um, like muscular looking body style instead of this. This is just, uh, just not a fan of it. But moving on, we have the tattoo right here. Um, he does not have his daughter's uh, tattoo on there, so that's unfortunate as well, but not a huge deal. You know, you could say that it's up under the waistband right there, so that's no biggie. We get the P1 decal on the elbow pad, which is always nice. I know that they don't give us the open one, but you'd think it'd be really simple to do, but whatever. I mean, they always cut corners. That's the things that I'm talking about. Here are the gloves, which look really, really good. I love that blue color. Um, I think the AJs are actually on there correct this time instead of the uh, other way around. So they have gotten this right on this figure instead of the network spotlight. And here are the trunk or the tights, I should say, which look absolutely great. Um, I love the blue color again. The blue, white, and black are like my favorite three colors. So this is really nice. I guess if you flip the white and blue, this figure would be just. I don't even want to talk about it. That would just. Jeez, he needs to do that. Let's just say that. But here we have on the P1 logo, I think we have some paint app quality control right here. So BEW is getting this figure from me, so he'll have to go in and fill in this P1 to fix that. Um, it came out of the packaging like that, which is unfortunate, but for BEW, he can fix anything. We don't get any knee pads, which is unfortunate, but you could easily just add some. Um, here are the kick pads, which look beautiful again. It, it's really easy because this attire is just so beautiful, so I don't think they could really screw it up. The color and everything they use for it is just amazing, so just really phenomenal, pun, in pun intended, um, AJ Styles figure. My favorite AJ they've made so far, and I know you're probably going to say, well, what about the white network spot like this one's better? in my opinion just the head scan overall is very nice even though i do love that wrestlemania one but now let's take some comparisons of some other aj styles figures here we have the new elite 56 up to the elite 51 aj styles here we have the new elite 56 aj styles up to my custom elite aj styles and then here we have the new aj styles up next to these network spotlight fix-up custom aj styles and here we have the new AJ Styles 2 sweeting my custom Elite Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson club figures because we did not get any Elite 56 ones. Alright guys, well there it is. That is my complete AJ Styles figure review. Um, I had a ton of fun posing this thing around. This figure it is phenomenal, pun intended. I would definitely recommend it to you if you wanted to pick it up. This is probably going to be in my top 10 figures of the year. This thing is just incredible. I love posing it around. The articulate articulation is great. Um, the head scan is great. The accessory is amazing as well. I don't think you even need the hoods. Um, when I get my own AJ, I'm going to definitely pose it like this. I don't think you even need them. But um, if you do not have an AJ Styles figure, definitely, I definitely recommend picking this piece up. It is just a very, very nice AJ. Best one they've made yet. But if you would like to pick this thing up, you can go to walkoutwear.com right now. I believe it is sold out everywhere, but I think they are putting in another order soon. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order it from walkoutwear.com, go over there, use my promo code MDT. You will save 16% and you get free U.S. shipping. So definitely go pick this piece up. It is incredible. You will not regret it, I promise. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have never seen any of my videos guys if you enjoyed this review go ahead and subscribe we do awesome videos all the time a lot of epic wwe figure stuff so go ahead and do that and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much